Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. Very excited today to be able to show you our new glass and steel library. It's in our eDNA engine. Um, these sounds are rooted in raw organic recordings of metallic glass and porcelain objects struck with a variety of different things. And then we've morphed and mangled them into some incredible kind of bumper toolkit. Sounds almost like kind of tuned percussion from another universe. It's, a, it's our fourth incarnation of these kinds of sounds and it, we've really taken it to the kind of logical conclusion here. From rhythmic tension beds to extraordinary organic pads, super fat distorted basses, we always feel it's like a secret weapon, um, something you can always pull out to save a job or win a pitch. Um, none of these sounds really seem to sound like anything else. So I'm just gonna dive straight in and just start playing so you can hear the kind of things that we've got. So a lot of these sounds have um, the mod wheel is connected to a kind of filter or some kind of gate. But here we go if we use a little bit of mod wheel on this pad. So you can hear their really cool kind of filtering sound in, in the background. So let's... Um, Let's go back um, and dive kind of straight into some of the interesting stuff in here. So we've got another kind of sweeping filter sound here, deep drone. And an alternative to that one. So you can hear there the mod wheel is controlling the amount of gate that's happening to the sound. Okay, so you get the idea in some of the cinematic rhythms. That's there's some pretty cool stuff in there. So let's jump into the cinematic systems folder and see what we've got in here.
OK, let's check out some of the um, disturbed morphs. So you can hear in that sound, for example, I'm using the mod wheel and also velocity has a massive effect on what comes out at the end. So you can really kind of play creatively by altering the, um, the, the heaviness that you're playing certain notes as you're actually playing a pattern. Okay, so within the hand blown pads section, I'll just give you a quick blast of a couple of these. We've got some really beautiful, um, very ambient sounds.
And then finally in the raw glass and steel, we have um, the sounds kind of in the most elemental form, but with a little bit of uh, some kind of, you know, splosh or something like that around them. So you get the idea. Um, we've got a huge amount of stuff in here, loads and loads of really great ideas um, for you to tweak to your heart's content. The amount of stuff you can do within the engine is just phenomenal. And um, we have a separate walkthrough that just shows you how the eDNA engine works as well. So enjoy using the glass and steel library and really looking forward to seeing what kind of creative stuff you can come up with. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.